Greetings, this is Kat at Sweet Tree Hill Farm. Back in our little shade garden here, we're getting actually a little bit of sun in this section that actually might help us a little bit um, with this black yarn. Again, I apologize, this is black. Okay, welcome to part two of the Berries and Lace stitch pattern. Again, to remind you, we're working on this Berries and Lace vest. I'm working on a model to rework this vest in worsted weight yarn. Um, which originally was done in bulky, and now we're going to rows two and four, and we're going to be specifically on row two, but I'll tell you, explain to you why they're almost the same. So, if you look at uh, row two, we're going to knit two, pour, pour, pearl four, pearl three together, and then we're going to knit one, pearl one, knit one into the next stitch, and repeat from the star, which is from the pearl four, okay, and um, and then the last two we knit two. So the knit twos only happened at the first two stitches and the last two stitches of that particular row. Now what I want to explain to you, if you want to look, two and four are almost virtually identical. What's different? Instead of the pearl three together first, you're going to do the knit one, pearl one, knit one into the next stitch first. Okay, and then you do the pearl three. So, uh, so basically you're going to do pearl four, um, knit one, pearl one, knit one, pearl three together, and then repeat pearl four. And, you know, so pearl fours are going to be over um, those bookend stitches that I showed you in the last video, and the uh, knit one, pearl one, knit one, and the pearl three together's are basically working your berries or <clears throat> mini bobbles if you want to call them that okay so i hope that helps a little bit so basically we're, we're on row two so we're going to start with the in that section over the berries with the pearl three together and um so again they just reverse but it's basically the same um the, the rows are very very similar all right so let's get started so right now we're on the back side and let's show you the front side first so you can see what we're working. Um, so again, remember we talked about um, the bookends uh, in between the berries. That's what we worked the last time. Okay, so here's your berries. We're going to be working the berries, but we're going to be doing it from the back side. And we're simply going to be purling over the yarn overs and the, and the little... Uh, uh, decrease stitches these little book this bookend row which I call or bookend section I should say all right so let's go let's get started we're turning this back over so we start off with uh, knit two again that only happens in the first two stitches in the last two stitches of the row all right Again, we're not worrying about the yarn overs, are we? Um, so we're going to jump um, right in to go, bring the yarn around, or we're going to purl. Now, if you notice, the first purl stitch is, is on a yarn over. So think of it that way. The, you're going to do purl four together. You're going to purl these four stitches. The first purl stitch and the last purl stitch will be a yarn over. That's how you know where you are. All right, so one, two, three, four, and I'm usually much faster than this, but anyway. All right, now we've reached our bobble section from the back side. So I'm trying to see if you can see that. Okay, so now we start off with the pearl three together. Now what you wanna do is you take your finger and you and you get behind that third it's a little little trick to do um, pearl three is a lot easier than um, making sure you're only getting three and make sure you're getting all three which I'm having a little difficulty doing here on camera all right bugger all right so we've got still have two stitches ah I have to start over again. Now, hold on. Let's get this. 
brain freeze here. I'm going to scooch this up to the end of the needle. There we go. All right. Duh. All right. So we're going to purl three together. And then you're going to bring your yarn around your needle. And you're going to knit one, bring the yarn forward, purl one, bring the yarn back, knit one. All right. And that'll set you up actually for the next bobble on the, when you come back to this row, when you're on row four, that will be the purl three together, that section. All right, you bring your yarn forward again. I'm going to get a little bit more yarn here. And then we're did, remember we, we purl four stitches. All right, we're at the purl three together. Let's see if I can do this a little bit quicker. Push this toward the end of the needle. Get your needle under that. There you go, you got purl. And then bring, bring your yarn around and then you're gonna knit one, bring yarn forward, purl one, bring yarn forward, knit one, then let it off all in one stitch right and then you should have a yarn over next which we do right there you see that and then we're going to do the purl four stitches so that's basically it and you just repeat over and over again very easy right very easy to kind of get in your head so again push those um three stitches that you got to purl together towards the end of the yarn get your needle in there purl those three together whoops there you go and bring your yarn to the back and again that is that one stitch that you're going to knit one purl one knit one into that one stitch all right and you bring your yarn forward again. Again, no, no and then we're going to start off, should be at a yarn, a yarn over, as we are. And you're going to purl those four stitches. And then that fourth stitch should be a yarn over, which it is. So that's, and you keep going from there. Okay, so that's what the back side looks like. So that's pretty much it for the uh, berries and lace uh, stitch pattern. Uh, keep keep staying tuned. We're working again. I'm working on the back. I've got about 13, 14 inches, maybe 15 inches done. I haven't measured it. And we're working on the back side. I'm working on um, the size that requires uh, 20 inches for the back. And um, just so you see, when we come back... I'm going to, later on when we get to that part, we're going to do um, the moss slip stitch uh, pattern. We'll be picking up, we're going to come around after we do the back. We're going to divide the stitches up. I'm going to continue down the front. And then we'll be ready. And the only sewing is done right at the, this, right at this area here on, uh, underneath the arms. Then we're going to pick up these stitches and then I'm going to show you how to do the slip stitch moss and uh, we're going to do this will be an all natural colored vest just a little peek you guys are the first hearing about it the colors are going to be white and silver i'm going to incorporate that gotland silver into this um moss stitch and it's going to be really 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 pretty i think so anyway okay stay tuned and thank you so much for watching and you all have a spectacular day bye Oh. Uh.